Um, I, um, you know, I watch these brothers and sisters, whoever they may be, um, who are on the internet, and I was just sent this this morning. And um, my question that I had was, why? Why do we, why is there a need to battle our own when we have an enemy who's fighting against us right now? I want you to listen to this right here. I want you to be very careful who you deal with. All right? Oh, we're, going to, we're going to talk about this, okay? First, watch the video. Then let me know how you feel in the comments. Wake up, America. Message! Hey, hey, look, so, so, but look, there's a war coming. Yeah. There's a war coming. And in this war, it's going to be the righteous versus the evil. And as, as fucked up as we don't want to accept it, it's going to be a lot of us versus us. Now, if something like that, I'm cool with that. Because this is the, for the future survival of my children, of my community, of my people. You either got to get with that shit or get gone. So we can't act like the inevitable is not going to happen. You know, the more and more consciousness is rising. Mm -hmm. You know, brothers and sisters are speaking out. This is becoming a new rap shit. Mm -hmm. This conscious shit is becoming a new wave. Mm -hmm. Herbalists is popping up everywhere. Thought leaders, critical thinkers is popping up everywhere. You see little bitty Malcolm X's and Louis Farrakhan's running around this motherfucker rapping. Mm. So the more and more we raise this high energetic frequency, the more and more the low energetic thought forms is going to be thinking of ways to come back. This is spiritual warfare. So so, so civil war is coming between the, the so-called black righteousness people and the so-called black evil people. It's coming. So for the ones that got their mind made up and, and can't get right, I'm just here to say this message i have over a hundred thousand vegans that don't eat meat that don't drink that don't smoke that read every day that work out that that, that actually practice combat training that know how to use a gun that know how to use their mind they dick is not they god they belly is not they god you don't want to fucking go to war with a nigga who know who they truly is so get your mind right or oh, don't you see what i'm saying but the war is coming the war is coming. So you said before, before, before dealing with anything else, we gotta, and I, and I like that, we gotta deal with us, whatever. We have to deal with our own house. Before we deal with it, and it's supposed to be like that anyway. Every community deal with themselves but so-called black America. When you look at the Jewish community, they have a Jewish police station, they have Jewish banks, they have Jewish priests. I mean, so this is what I was trying to say. Whenever you build any community, it has these four fundamental principles. Everyone have to have an education system or what you would call a school. Everybody have to have a hospital or what you would call a healing mechanism. You see what I'm saying? Everybody else will have to have economics, meaning you have to have your own bank. And then last but least, not last but not least, food and water. Do we own our food and water? No, we don't. Half of us is just now getting into black farming. So we need to learn how to grow our own food. We need to learn how to siphon our own water from the geo depths of the earth. We need to learn how to build our own education institutes. We need to learn how to use money or use a way of exchange. Because money ain't even really the way of exchange. We can do bartering trading. If I'm growing 100,000 apples and you growing 100 potatoes, where, where do we need money at? Let's make an exchange. So, and that's why education is so important. These are things that we need to start putting back in the community before we can get our identity back. The problem is, bro, we don't know who we are. We don't know who we are. We don't know where we are. We don't know what we are. We don't know why we are. We don't know when we are. When we start answering those questions, it's going to make us not only look at ourselves different when we look at our reflections, but it's going to make me look at you, you and you different. The love is different. Me knowing that I'm a God, me knowing that I'm a king, that I come from royalty, I automatically look at you like you a God, a king that come from royalty. All right, that's why I greeted you, peace, goddess. All right, no matter what you right. do or how you operate, because we see gods can fall and operate out of their lower selves for some time. But if I keep reminding you who you are, just maybe, prayerfully, and hopefully, that's going to ignite something deep within your subconscious mind to make you change your fucking reality. All right. So, I understand his concept that he's coming from. But why the war? He said, I see these Malcolm X's and Louis Farrakhan's and... Louis Farrakhan is one who only represents the nation of Islam. Malcolm X only represents the nation of Islam. 
If you ever listen to Malcolm X speech, and I listen to all of his speeches, all right, I listen to all of Malcolm X speeches, and all the thing he talked about was protecting the nation of Islam. He said nothing about protecting our people, our own kind. He said nothing about that. He only talked about the nation of Islam, which means that anybody outside the nation of Islam, he didn't care. And pretty much Farrakhan is pretty much the same way. It's all about the nation of Islam. He said, well, if somebody come and tax us, tax the nation of Islam, there's a whole fleet of uh, ships going to come from outer space and going to attack them. You know, that's, that's what, that's what they, they put out there. So you see a bunch of, so basically he's saying that there's a bunch of nations of Islam running around. All right, Malcolm X and Louis Farrakhan, they only dealt with themselves. Now, the other part that I had with this message right here was, you know, like I said, first of all, why are we going to war with each other? Why, where, what is the, the, the righteous and the evil between each other? Why are we warring against each other? What do we have to war against each other from? For, all right. I know there may be brothers and sisters who have differences, or things that I say, but they don't want to war with me. They have their own war within themselves. So if there is a war going on, there has to be a war within yourself for you to reflect upon yourself. But we cannot force anyone to live according to how we want them to live. All right. It sounds like, you know, something's going on. The third part I had wrong, this is the third or fourth part, whichever one that is, I had with this message here was the fact that he wanted to mention the Saxon-based system, saying that, yeah, you got you to gotta have a bank, and you got to have a, a school system, and you got to have a hospital, and you got to have uh, something that, I mean, I'm like, so he basing everything according to how these Saxons set things up when our ancestors had something completely different. We didn't, we bartered, the bartering happened with us trading with other brothers and sisters from other planets. We bartered. So if they needed a bunch of gold, I said, what do you have to give us? What do you have that we don't have that, that, and so they bring whole bunch of whatever raw material they have and we give them gold and that's that's the bartering system there we didn't deal with money with the bartering system but as far as us here in this realm we had everything we didn't have to barter potatoes and tomatoes and barter potatoes and apples and all that because everything the the entire land was nothing but fruit and vegetable we ate from the land there was nothing you know so you really have to be careful who you um, listen to. This is guy Yaki. Who's name Yaki? Um, you, I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, you gotta be careful of who you listen to. This guy is telling us that we gotta fight our own. We got a whole enemy out there that's putting, that's uh, uh, selling poison in the food in the, in the stores. Poisoning the sky, poisoning the music, poisoning the TV, poisoning everything. You got a whole system set up that we have to live according to their system that they want us to live to, but we got to fight each other. That don't make no fucking sense. I am so serious. That don't make no goddamn sense whatsoever. What are we fighting against each other for? Why? Because somebody believe in Jesus and you don't. So you're going to force another brother and sister to change their reality. Their reality will change as they awaken. Everybody has their own awakening effect. So what is the civil war between each other for? It's a big enough civil war we have against each other right now. Where we're fighting each other and we're killing each other for stupid shit. Brother kill a sister because she don't want to talk to him. Brother kill a brother because he looked at him the wrong way. Sister kill a sister because her hair looks better than one sister hair looked better than the other one. Brother kill a sister because um because she um whatever, you know, brother kill a sister because she she feel she feel like he's not good enough for her. 
All right. So, I mean, it's, 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 it's all kind of stupid shit. That's a civil war that's going on now. So why do we need to fight each other even more when we have a whole enemy that we have to fight that we're facing every day? That's what I'm telling you guys. Be careful who you listen to. Be careful who feeds your soul. This brother's literally telling us that we need to go against our own when we're trying to build each other up. Because if we kill each other off, how the fuck are we going to fight a real enemy who has a whole army waiting to fight against us? How, how, how are we going to do this? You make this shit make sense. How the hell are we going to fight a whole enemy and we go to war with each other, killing each other off? It makes no fucking sense whatsoever. Y'all be careful who you listen to. Because the foolishness that some brothers and sisters come out of their mouths is, 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 is literally, is, is damnation to our own. So he telling us, oh yeah, I got all these brothers and sisters who know how to use a gun, who know how to use their mind. What are they using their mind to do? Kill each other. Because from, from, from this point of view, we're taking brothers and sisters back to where we're supposed to be. Sorcery, witchcraft, uh, warlock, wizardry. Return to the Sith, to the to the Darth. Return to the, the to to who we are. And I got brothers and sisters chiming in on this channel, this channel, Rmbh channel, all the time, because we are literally promoting us as the original beings to uh, restore the power that we lost while we fight against each other. What civil war do we have to have against each other? Well, we're going to be killing each other on the masses out in the middle of the street. So how are we going to fight this enemy if we fight each other? Answer that. Yeah, Yaki, if you, if you, if you chime in on this, I want you to answer that for me. I want you to give me the answer because how the fuck are we going to fight a real enemy who's poisoning the sky every fucking day? Who's poisoning the land? Every fucking day, who poison our minds every fucking day, who's putting shit out there to fight against the, the evolution of how we're supposed to evolve. What brother and sisters out there spray in the sky? Tell me, what brother and sister you see in spray in the sky? What brother and sister you see in putting um, poisonous food in the grocery stores? We don't run these grocery stores, they do. We don't run that food. They do. You know, all kind of chemicals, food, and all kind of craziness. But, but our people, why are we fighting against our people? Yaki, tell me now. Tell me that, please. Why are we going to fight against our own? Why? What is the war that we got to have against our own? Why we got to have Malcolm X and Farrakhan running around? Because Farrakhan hasn't done anything else with the, the both the million man marches that Farrakhan did was useless. Absolutely useless. I gotta take care of my queen. But that's the question I have. Why are we fighting against each other? Why would we want to kill each other? Why do we want to have a civil war with each other? The biggest war that we got with our own is our own. It's with each individual person. That's the war. If you want to talk about a civil war, the war within yourself, where you have to question everything that you do. But we got to have a banking institution. No, we don't. We got to have an educational system. No, we don't. Because our ancestors learned from nature. I'm going to get into the flag a little later, into the different flags a little later. We don't discuss that. But I just wanted to put this out here. Why do we have to fight against each other? What civil war, what is brewing so bad that we gotta kill each other and fight against each other? Pick up guns and fight each other. You know, you see what I'm saying? So those brothers literally putting poison out there into the atmosphere to get us to fight each other. Why? Because some brothers and sisters have their own belief and now you want to force someone to believe what you believe? That's that same Christianity, Islam mindset where, oh, you're doing this, I want you to live this way here. Everybody has their own awakening. Everyone has their own awakening. They wake it in the time that they were supposed to awaken. But you can't sit up there and 
tell us that we got to fight each other. We got to kill each other and we got to set up our, our communities in the way our, our enemies, our arch enemies have set up communities. Our ancestors did the whole Black Wall Street where we had all the money and all the banks and whatever. And we saw what the enemy did. You know, we, we saw that before then we didn't have that type of system. We had a galactic system where we were dealing with galaxies and, and star systems and, and planets and we were trading among each other. That's the whole part of Star Wars. Star Wars is based upon our history. We got to get back to there. But this brother's talking about right here, what this brother's talking about right here, y'all better, better not follow this shit. Y'all better learn how to tap into self, tap into energy, tap into the, the, the power within you. Because this, what, what he's talking about, mm mm. We killing ourselves, hurting ourselves. No, 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 no. Yeah, we gotta get back to farming. Yeah, we gotta. We, yeah, we get back to farming. But the most, the most important, we gotta get back to technology. What's he talking about technology? We gotta get back to technology. This is where we came from. When these beings came here to this land, what did they see? They saw technology. They saw what we have farmlands. Well, what did we have in those farmlands? We had. We have frequency vibrators that vibrated frequencies across the farm so that the vegetation would grow. We had sunlight all the time. We have a real enemy fighting against us. So you want us to fight against our own? How the fuck you going to put that shit on that, Yaki? That's some bullshit. All right? You don't like what I said? Contact me. All right? So, I feel like that. Uh, I just want to bring, bring this to y'all. <laughs> All right, because this is some bullshit right here. Y'all gotta be careful. He called his name out twice. You're not talking about building ourselves up as the original beings. You're not talking anything. Oh yeah, I got a whole army that knows how to use a gun. What do we have to use a gun for? To kill each other. He telling us to kill each other. That's what he's telling us. He's not talking about fighting against a real enemy that's uh, that's invaded our land. That told us that we are African American. That told us that we are Black American. Told us we came from Africa. Told us that we we were we came from monkeys. I mean, all kind of craziness. We have a real enemy who miseducated us. But you want to fight against your own? Why? Hmm. Sounds like his mind is indoctrinated as well. All right, catch you guys later. I'm dead.